Previously on Monster Hunter, a great danger occurred as the vengeful Lakana attacked the Siliana base. As our hunters struggled to defend it due to having difficulties getting into close quarters with the Vulcana. Jesus Christ, I haven't even done anything to him. Anything significant, I yeah, haven't even done. The club. But fortunately enough, they had other ways to damage it and then finally repel it with the Dragon Razor. There you go. Fire it! Finally. Jesus, that thing is deep. That thing just went deep into the chest. Uh huh. And it's still standing. Oh, yeah. Now our hunters are on their way to finally put an end to this Vulcana. But will they be successful? Let's find out in this episode of Monster Hunter Iceborne. Okay, here we go. Um, all right. Here we go. Oh, I can't even clutch it properly. Oh man. Hmm, that hurts. The cutscene. <coughs> yep. You, you may join now. Shoot that almost. All right. Ah, oh, yeah. This thing is pretty agile and it's pretty small too. Yeah, one of the things you have to do late game. I've not gotten to it yet. But one of the hunts you have to do late game is you have to fight a Velcana with like, I think it's, you have to fight and kill a Velcana in, I want to say like 10 minutes. 10 minute they quest? They don't give you a whole lot of time. Yeah, they don't give you time. You have like enough time to kill this thing. I don't know how I'm still alive, I'm here. but I'm still alive. Right. I wanted to have a flashy entrance. Sure. Get it. Yeah, sure. Because they use the flash pod. Yeah, yep, yeah, sure. I thought it was clever. Yeah. It was it it, it was clever until you said it. <laughs> oh what the oh we just Wow, just like that. He's like, yeah, I'm done. You kill a white fatalist? Ah oh, boring. When was it said that this thing killed a white fatalis? I don't know. Because I highly doubt this thing was capable of killing a Fatalis of any kind, let alone a white one. Yeah. No, I mean, like, it, it mentioned, is mentioning me, like, oh, you killed a white Fatalis? <laughs> Boring. Oh. <laughs> I'm oh, a you're talking about the Vilcana. Yeah. I don't think this thing has a, has a chance against, you know, any kind of Fatalis. That was, my, that was what I was saying. Ah, oh, finally, yes. And it's a lot of ice. Alright, damage buffet. Oh, no, never mind. No more! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm out. I am out. What is this? What is it doing? What is it doing? What is it doing? That almost hit me. The wonder that it didn't. Did it just overloaded its ice and then now it's, it doesn't have any more ar armor in it? Uh, I wouldn't say it overloaded its ice, it's more like it just discharged all of it. Oh. I assume I'll probably be dead if I were to get hit by that. Uh, I've been hit by before, it's not fatal, but fuck does it hurt. 
and you usually get stunned by it. Oh. Well, actually, I don't know what your defense has to be for you to be able to survive it. I don't remember anything else that's icy. Well, I wouldn't mind fighting Kushala? a, a Jake Barry off. Kushala's not icy. Windy. Yeah, but he shows up in ice areas, so... I mean, there's no wind. He shows up in ice areas. Yes, he shows up in ice areas, but it doesn't make him an ice monster. And there's that armor again. Yeah. Freaking hell, that growl sounded like what you hear in Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> kind of, yeah. That's a, that's a heavy metal growl, all right. Yeah. Too bad the monster's design makes it feel like it belongs in a... In a power metal one, band. In the, the Frozen movie. <laughs> Oh no, what is this? 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 It... Okay, I'm not sure if I saw this correct or not, but it looked like she just put another layer of armor on. Oh. Oh yeah, she, she does, she does that, she does that. I thought she was going to bed, but never mind. Ah! She's limping, isn't she? I think she might be? Whoa, okay. Because I saw her walk for like a few seconds and she was like limping. Yeah, she, I, I noticed the same thing. She only walked for like two steps, but it very much looked like she was limping, so I think we might be getting close to the end of this. Yep. Alright, I'm at peak performance. Wakey wakey, eggs and bacon. Nope. Ross is different. Wakey wakey, axe and hammy. Oh shit, big one incoming. Ah, uh, luckily I healed you first. Thank you. Because she was not letting me fucking heal. Every time I'd start to drink a potion, she'd smack the fuck out of me. <laughs> oh, broke the head, the head armor. Oh. I've said it a million times before, but I'll say it again because I feel it bears repeating. I love my shield. When she jumped up for that last attack, I saw it coming and sheathed my axe, turning it back into sword and shield mode, and I didn't hold block, but my guard point kept me from getting hit with that attack. Oh, okay. So were you not using cold proof? Uh, I don't have enough space. Oh. I hate whenever a build doesn't allow space for a necessary item. Yep. That's the biggest reason why I don't like the Glavinus sets. I was, I'm was, i still salty about that. Glavinus is one of my favorite monsters of all time and its armor sucks. <laughs> well done. You've outdone yourself. By using these shards, it's able to control the cold. Then when they weather and fall off, it simply replaces them. Oh man, that's cool. Interesting. Hmm. Remarkable indeed. Oh wow. You must be excited to see your grandfather now. Yeah. It's just... I have the feeling that... There was something else he wanted me to know. He'll let you know. Right. And I'm going to tell him... Everything. <laughs> Partner! For everything you've done for me, thank you so much. I mean you, and then, what I mean is... Greetings. <sighs> Back, huh? Nice, things have calmed down around here. It would appear so. Then please, enlighten me on everything I've missed. 
And so, the Legiana resumed their normal routine, and thus we were able to avoid complete disaster. Ah, impressive work. However, I have some troublesome news for you. I'd like to share what I've discovered. But before that... We've discovered unnatural fault lines all over this place. Tons of them. This all points to frequent seismic action throughout the area. Seismic action? Right. However, we haven't been able to figure out how this connects to Valkana. That, and we don't know what's causing those songs. Wait a sec. Hmm. It appears that everything is connected. The Legiana's behavior and the rejuvenated Velcana are a simple byproduct of this phenomenon. If we don't put a stop to this, the ecosystem irregularities will continue. Okay, then. What's the cause? Uh, the old ever worm. <laughs> Something's happening! Watch out! 